Micah, just talk about last weekend. Obviously, named Big Ten Player of the Week and Setter of the Week. Why'd you have some so much success? Not only you personally, but as a team. What do you feel like was important? I think as a team, we came in during preseason. We were working hard, and we knew we had to play big matches in the Big Four. And it was more about the team. It was more coming together and connecting, like outside balls. I got to get tempo. I got to know where to go with the ball and when. And it was just, it was good for the team to come out and fight. We what showed a lot of collective fight in that second game, especially. What did you learn about the team overall? Um, it it was a difference in last year. Last year, I feel like we wouldn't have had that six point run in the middle of the second set. We came back, and yeah, we made some errors here and there at the end of the game, which resulted in losing. But we showed we had fight as a team. Let's bring in Deja McClendon and talk a little bit about some of the important things to do as a setter and how to be successful. So, Deja. Hi, everyone. From an outside hitter's perspective, talk about some of the things you and Mike need to do well. Um, Mike and I really need to connect, and I think that uh, needs a lot of communication between the two of us. And. Uh, she needs to know exactly what I'm looking for, as well as I need to be able to adjust to what she's trying to give me. Um, so Micah, what are some of the key things that you have to do in order to provide the outside hitters with a good set? I think, it, for me, it's just to get my feet there, because I'm kind of lazy sometimes, I don't get my feet there, I throw the ball up, but for me, it's finding the hitter. So I know exactly what you need, and that's me. When I know what she needs, I just have to get it there. For those out there that don't really watch a lot of volleyball, um, what are some key concepts uh, that you have to do as a setter? For those who don't know a lot about volleyball, I think it's the fast feet that I talked about, getting your feet there, um, taking the ball in the same spot every time in your hands for like the young setters. I used to tell them, hey, you gotta get your feet there, you got your hands right on the ball every time so it's consistent. For um, some of the young people out there who are playing volleyball, uh, what are some tips that you would give them uh, to become a, a top D1 setter? I think that would be a lot of touches. I'd say get in the gym, get reps, um, wall work is great, having a partner in the gym telling you what they want, what they could give you some variety on what you can do and work on. What is uh, one, What are one of your favorite things about setting? I think the, my favorite thing is running, running the show. I get to set you guys, I get to watch you guys hit the ball on the ground and I'm like, hey, I helped that, you know, I gave them an assist. but. It's just fun to know, like, I know where the ball's going. No one else does. I do. So it's pretty fun. What's something that you look for uh, to know where to put the ball and know who to set? I think the biggest thing, like me and Steve have talked, um, just knowing where my blockers are on the other side of the net. So I have to use, really use my vision on the right side and just see where they aren't, and then I set away. What's something that we can do as outside hitters and as middles and right sides to help you uh, get us the ball and to score? I think it's just experience. I think we get in the gym more, just like we always do, and it's a lot of communication, like you said earlier. Thank you.